And then finally, we come to the main event, and the reason why that I have been waiting for this show to talk about this is because I can't wait to see the or hear the numbers on the ratings. I have remained blissfully ignorant of what the numbers were this week until you present them as only you can. But the main event of a national televised wrestling program from this company, because they were in Austin, Texas, was another fake Texas death match where it's not even a Texas death match. It's just no DQ, anything goes, lazy booking. Matt Taven, who, as I've mentioned, has a ton of talent and had a ton of talent 10 years ago and has come in and with Bennett was a good tag team and we haven't seen them do dick except comedy. And I don't think he's had a singles match that we've seen on television, but he gets a Texas death match against the company mascot, our little puppy pockets in the main event, a Texas death match between a guy who's never had a singles match on TV and the fucking boss's teacher's pet who doesn't deserve to be on TV at all. And they fought in the arena and they fought on the stage and they fought with the furniture and pockets got juice, and they went past 10 p.m. So it was like everything that could be wrong with anything that you would put on a show right here concentrated in this one little contest here. Bad talent, no talent, nobody with a push, no reason for a match, endless garbage, couldn't hit their fucking time, and devalued real wrestlers bleeding is because it means nothing after the people see the fucking parody do it. I obviously didn't see the finish because that happened after 10 o'clock, but I assume that Pockets is keeping his undefeated streak going. That is indeed correct, and it was an amazing spot where Matt Taven did a dive. It looked like he broke his neck. He was fine, thankfully, but it looked bad. Head first into the desk. It was really bad. <laughs> But that was AEW Dynamite. 